this got struck by lightning. Oh, there comes the wind. <gasps> oh, crap. A viewer sent this to me via text message, so this is as good as the video gets, but uh, notice the limbs sticking out off the edge of the tree are not burning, and then that one that just fell kind of surprised her a little bit, but notice all the other, all the other limbs that are sticking out off of the tree that are not burning, and there's like zero flame, yet it's burning from top to bottom. You can see the red glow clear up to the top. That burning process that we saw that tree performing in progress is the same thing I got in this video titled Apocalyptic Stockpile Inventory, like pearls to swine. Now you can see all the holes in the tree where the, where the limbs once protruded from the trunk of the tree, but have burned out and the tree's now hollowed out inside. The tree has two types of wood, the inner wood and the outer wood. The inner wood is called heartwood. And I don't know what the outer wood is called. We'll call it shell wood. It's a harder, the outer wood is hard, rigid, brittle, and dry, and creates like a lattice structure for the, uh, the inner wood. Every, everywhere that a branch protrudes, it's inner wood. It starts out as that inner wood that's soft and flexible and wet and less brittle and less rigid. And it creates these new branches that protrude that are supple and flexible and soft and bendy and stuff compared to the outer shell of the tree. Very similar to the way that this tree burned. You see the unburned branches sticking out the side of the tree here. Right there. There's a couple on the back side. I suspect that those that were on the tree we started with the tree that was burning on the inside but still had branches sticking out off the edges that were falling off as the tree burned. I, I think those branches were probably unburned like this. This tree appears to have burned in the reverse of all of those that I had in the driveway sprayed with lacquer where the inside and the limbs burn away leaving the outer shell of the trunk. This one appears to have had the outer shell of the trunk burn while the limbs remain unburned. So maybe the inner core wood of this tree is also unburned. And for whatever reason, in this case, it the electricity followed the path of the shell wood, the outer shell wood, rather than coursing along the veins and the fibers of the core wood. Because typically that's what happens, is it burns it out on the inside, and that inner core wood protrudes out with each branch that comes out of the trunk. And so it burns the branch all the way gone and leaves a hole in the trunk where the branch once was and leaves the trunk unburned. In this process, the trunk is burned and the branch sticking out is not. So it makes me think maybe the inside of this one is unburned and for whatever reason, the electricity coursed along the other wood, not the heart wood, which it normally does. But in this case, it moved through the outer shell wood of the trunk. Try and get a still frame here. Because you can see how fine of a line it is between the unburned branch that protrudes and the burned trunk. Very fine line. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that plasmosis in process and show you some other examples of what it probably looks like up close. This got struck by lightning. Oh, there comes the wind. <gasps> oh, crap.
for you like this. I got this gun struck by lightning. Oh, there but the wind. <gasps> oh, crap. I'll just throw in here, put my own little stank on it with a muse message. This one, the lyrics aren't as pertinent, but the title of the song, A Tree on Fire from Within, and that's the, uh, the image they show on the album cover. And this was only put out in like 2019, so he's not waxing philosophically and metaphorically with analogies that are hard to comprehend and so artistic you can't wrap your mind around it. No, he's just telling you about what's actually happening. Like, water falling from the sky. If we hadn't all experienced rain on a regular basis, we would think, wow, that sounds so deep and metaphorical. No, no, it's just called rain, dude. Like water falling from the sky. Uh, there's nothing metaphorical or artistic about that. It's called rain. And anyone who can see it happening all around us doesn't find your water falling from the sky to be very deep, philosophical, intellectual, metaphysical, metaphorical, an analogy, or an allegory. It's just water falling from the sky. We call it rain, dude. Likewise with this guy singing about a tree on fire from within. It's just happening all around us, and there's nothing artistic about that expression within that lyric. If you can see it, you can see it. If you can't, you think, oh, wow. Wow, there's like, there's like something profound about that lyric. Called up Mary to see how she's been. She said she's never really had a friend. Sure, there's many folks around me, but nobody truly found me like a tree on fire from within. I'll let you go through the rest of the lyrics another time. I also found this song title and album cover interesting. It's titled Burning from the Inside. You can see it says that along the bottom. And the imagery is like a shattered mirror, but all in vertical lines. And you see it does show like a dead tree. But this was put out in 1983. So, Burning from the Inside in 1983, maybe he was being a little more artistically creative, or he had some inside knowledge about these cycles, because it wasn't yet happening all around us. But anyway, just the artwork and the album title.